Welcome. It's a uh, Sunday, and it's the last weekend of the Veterans Day weekend. So, a little weekend warrior action more coming. So, uh, we're gonna we're going back into an area that I went opening day of rifle uh, in October. So, in the one where I missed the doe. So, we're gonna go back into that same spot, go to that same bull. Hopefully, that uh, fork horn that's in there is coming down this side, or even those does are in there, and uh, we might try to take a doe out of there so we're gonna go back in there and get in there right before shoot light starts um, so that way we're set up and ready as soon as the sun's coming up we can get on it that's the only downside with this spot is we we face the way the sun's coming up so it kind of blinds us right at right at sunrise for about 30 minutes so uh, but we're gonna give it our all and another weekend successful weekend we've had so it's been a good weekend and uh, hopefully we can cap it off with a deer so we'll see you on the glass knob well we got our first deer spotted steph spotted a buck um, back behind us we saw a guy up on top of the ridge working his way down a little bit and then using a spotter to glass back in our direction the bottom of the spine that he's on that he was on uh, Steph spotted a buck going around the corner but she only saw it for a split second saw it was a buck saw it was a big body and then walked, it walked off so we're trying to see if we can turn it back up it's a it's a little ways away but and it's uh not in the best spot but I don't know if we would be able to get a shot get, get in to get a shot on it but you never know so we're just gonna try to watch that area and see if anything else turns up. So they're on their feet, they're moving. We can just see if we can get one to come on by us. So that buck, or that guy was on, the guy was on this spine right here up the top. And then Steph spotted the deer down at the bottom of that spine, walking that way. So we're trying to see if we can swing in on a different angle, be able to watch that face better so it's kind of hard with some of this brush being so thick and tall those deer blend in so well and then also uh we only be able to see their head because of the height of it but instead of already swung around to see if she can get a better look on it i'm gonna see if i can get over there and get the spotter out see if i can uh it's about 9.30, 9.35, so we're going to uh, slowly make our way out of here, going up and over a different knob, checking out the big drainage that's off to the side of that, see if anything's moving through there, and then uh, get back to the truck, and we're going to drive to a couple, a couple little spots and glass up some of the straws and see if we can spot anything feeding around or laying down under these straws. This area seems like it's going to be one of those ones that if they're not in there first thing in the morning, then they're not in there at all that day. So that's what it's looking like. But, so we'll give it a shot. And we're just going to slowly make our way through here and see if we can bump into something, kick something up, something like that. But uh, yeah, she saw a deer. We didn't get skunked on seeing any. It's been quite a while since I've gone in there. I've gone in and not seen anything, so that's a good thing. But we're gonna make our way down here.
Okay. Zigzag. Well, that's gonna do it for us this weekend. It's all over, so. Uh, we got down off the mountain, got in the truck, drove to a couple spots, did some glass and stuff, and uh, we found a new spot that actually we wanna spend a little bit more time in. Um, if not, definitely I'm gonna need to mark this spot to come back and scout it out um, if we don't get back in here to hunt. Um, but yeah, so the deer got us this weekend again. So the second half is not starting off too uh, too hot for us. The deer are still getting us. Um, saw deer every day, but just didn't wasn't able to get on them. I mean, to the point where I didn't even get on them with uh, the camera. So I don't think I got a single deer on camera this weekend. But it's just that's how fast we were seeing them. We were just seeing them going around knobs or going over the edge of something, and we just couldn't get get on them. Get, get it done so the best opportunity we had was yesterday Steph putting that stock on that deer and we were crawling it she was crawling in and then the wind just shifted and swirled on us and we felt the wind hit the back of her neck and as soon as that happened she sees the buck take a couple hops away over the edge so and then we just didn't, weren't able to turn them back up so yeah but off to uh another work week so we'll go back to the house start getting ready for for next week i actually got eye surgery coming up so this is the last hunt you'll see with me wearing glasses at least regular glasses all sunglasses on after this so deer pretty deer. excited about that might see some deer better <laughs> um yeah so we are we're pretty convinced that the deer are having beach days this weekend it was so hot uh, that they went down to the coast and were hanging out on the beach and that's why they weren't up in the mountains we're pretty convinced about that so um or they're laying down next to the highway because they like the soothing sound of the freeway but, i don't know we're just making up things to entertain ourselves so but uh yeah get ready for work week and then next weekend i won't do anything um because i'll be recovering from the eye surgery and then the weekend after that it's thanksgiving and so we got one last weekend to do a hell mary um, but we're really hoping to get in. There's one spot that we haven't got into yet um, We have not been able to hunt it at all and it's never been open But like maybe three or four times this year. So we're really hoping to get into there um, And be able to get it done and hit it hard. So we got three more days that we can hunt hard and hopefully get it done so Yep until next time see you on the next one